Hey guys, this is Vera from Star Speaker Arts and welcome back to the channel. So I know I haven't posted in two or three weeks at this point. Honestly, I hit a bit of an art block, I got into a new job, so I've been a little bit busy selling that in and honestly, even before that, my creative streak went down a bit. Just, you know, it's one of those times where you don't really know what to draw and you don't really have the motivation to draw either, so yeah. So this was just drawing. I just really wanted to practice how to paint skin, um, like make it more alive looking, shadows, saturations, just the color of it. And there's other piece I wasn't particularly looking to go hard blending or anything, but I still kind of did. So <laughs> if you saw a little bit at the start of the video just now, I was actually struggling quite a bit trying to figure out what I want to draw. Actually, even until now. Um, I went through fan art, just random body parts, to just gaping pose. But when I was drawing the face, I couldn't seem to get it right at all. I wasn't happy with the proportions, something just felt off in general. And my friend suggested, hey, why don't you try using Lip Studio Paints like 3D models? So I started with the head, thinking that I could just usually go with the body after that. Like, the head's fine, okay. I know how to draw the body more or less, so. I should be fine, right? As you saw just now, I was not fine. Something just kept feeling not good about it. So I grabbed the full body 3D model, kind of figured out how to use it. I couldn't for the life of me before remember how to, or you know, figure out how to use that model without getting frustrated. Turns out maybe the RAM of my laptop back then just wasn't good, so it was lagging like crazy. But now that I could manipulate it pretty smoothly, it, I got into to the pose that I wanted. I drew over it, adjusted the proportions a bit, and actually helped me quite a bit. Um, I realized that my like the portion, the way I drew chests, uh, that, like the pecs area, I used to draw it way too short, and it has to be a little bit further from the collarbone. So now I know. And the rest of the pieces just a redraw from a drawing I did in 2022, so that was two years ago. Back then, I only just started really practicing how to do better lighting or better colors and rendering uh, from the book Color and Light. So I was slowly going through the lessons, but it takes time and practice and really going through the book and looking through the tutorials to really get how to do all the things that they teach you. So my main issue with drawing back then the skin looked ashy, the colors weren't all too good, the blending wasn't all too good with the shadows. And that was because I was trying to take into account like the, the blue bounce type around, so it had to be colder for the shadows, but it just made it look like ashy. So for this one, I just really copied the background to some extent of the skyline of a window and this graphic wall that you sometimes see in like modern gyms or dad studios. I didn't do the water bottle or the light anymore because no space, so. And really, my point really just was to practice drawing skin, even though it ended up being a pretty much fully rendered piece. There are still some parts that I'm not fully happy with. I'm not too happy with how the her hair turned out. It feels a little messy, maybe a little too saturated, so I will practice that more in the future. I don't really have a lot to say about this particular drawing, so as with most of my videos nowadays, just feel free to relax here with the music. I will pop in if there's anything more interesting to see about it, but I don't really think so, so enjoy for now.
So one thing I'm trying to figure out right now is what kind of style I really want to go for. So around four or five months ago, when I started doing a lot more digital art, I've been trying out more softer, somewhat glowier to some extent kind of drawings, a little bit painterly, a little bit soft. Uh, right now, I've been slightly leaning more on towards the harder, uh, like harder shadows again, and I've been trying to incorporate the lessons here and there. So, it it I guess it really is like that when you're trying to figure out your style as an artist. Like, sometimes your drawings from five, nine, five months ago look vastly different from what you do today, or they can look really similar. Um, for example, the way that I drew faces. Two, three years ago, I still pretty similar to how I draw faces now, but everything else changes, like maybe the proportions of it, the rendering of it, just the general lights and shadows or tones of things. So it's an interesting journey, I guess, and I'm glad that I finally got on it with consciously, I guess. Because when I was younger, when I started feeling bad about my art, I'd be like, Oh, I don't like how it looks. It's not what my vision. And then suddenly the next day or a couple of weeks later, because I just keep on drawing nonetheless, I'd be like, Oh, my style changed. My style improved. And I guess at that point, I was learning. I was learning how to bring out my vision onto the paper just by sheer brute force. But now it's more structured because I'm more intentional when, when I draw, like, oh, I want to practice this, or I want to know, I want to practice how I want to draw noses, or, oh, this lighting here doesn't look good, and I have to keep in mind the theories more now, so it's great. It's, it's a fun journey. It just sucks because sometimes I really don't have the, the will to draw, or I don't have an image to draw in my mind, and... It just leads to like this particular drawing that pretty much took me an entire day just trying to figure out the pose or what I'll be drawing. And there were a lot of pauses in between and I just watched YouTube videos or something like that. Funnily enough, just by practicing drawing skin and the body to some extent, it's actually made me practice doing details as well. So like that shadow on the nose or the curves and ridges on the ear or like the, those fingernails or the shadows in the fingers. That's something I usually gloss over because yeah, it's usually just a hand that has pretty simple shadows but the nose is just really simple. But I she ended up with a bit more detail than I really expected I'd be doing, so that made me happy, honestly. It's just really something about this particular piece that I was super lazy with. So, when I was drawing it, I would just watch videos sometimes and just have OBS recording. And I wouldn't be drawing, but I said, oh, I'll be drawing today. Yeah. And then I come back to it, maybe paint one hand and then go wash the videos again. So I was really distracted and busy with this. And then during editing, after everything was done, it took me a whole week to just edit the video. Because I knew I had so many in pauses I had to cut out. I was doing really procrastination days with those. And then now, just doing the voiceover, honestly, it took me another week to just get up and do it, I don't know, there's something about this piece. I like it, I don't hate it, it's not the absolute best, but it's still pretty good, I can see it, still pretty happy with it, just, just something about it, I mean it's just the fact that there are things being in my life right now, like a new job, job, and even though it doesn't really eat into my personal time after work, the fact that I have to do it after work now and not just a random part of the day,
if I did that, it would be super obvious that there's not in the heart because it's so thick or maybe the line weights just too obvious. I mean, just really painted things didn't really look good or plan well with having a colored line art so I just end up with a dark gray or a brown line art. Or when I did try it, it was still really obvious because it would be like lighter or darker than the actual parts of the painting. And this one is so very happy. And any layer effects, I think, over the entire character, so that even the line I could do the layer effects. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please comment, share with me what you do when you go to the like drawing and the art block. Like, it has been conquered. If you have been conquered, then what do you do? I'm going to